future cryptic gonna jump in right now um there are timestamps below this set of a really long video so if you want to jump to a specific topic jump ahead what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of survival alert today we've only got uh three short topics we've got one the update and specifically that f weird function where you can get quote free gp another one is just false or unfulfilled promises on behalf of Libby. And our third story has to do with the tournament today that went really poorly, the $250 tournament hosted by, I don't remember his name, the, the guy with the weird name, like Pickle Butt, I think, or something like that. Um, I'll, But yeah. So first story we're going to talk about is Libby's unfulfilled promises. I'm going to go through my DMs with her, and um, this is just my direct DMs to her. There was about um, maybe like 20 or so requests that I sent to her in a group chat that Firewave deleted, so I have no way of figuring that out. But this is just going to be the direct messages between me and Libby. So prior bans is important. This was back in 416, so this was what, five months ago now? That she'd be addressing prior bans. It has now been five months, there has been no sort of unbanned policy. I've requested multiple times in here, you'll see later, to be unbanned and I've gotten kind of like non-answers the whole time. So we'll go through that later, but now we're, we're going to go on that. Let's see. Moderation is mostly objective. I say um, that it wasn't objective. She says different places are in place now and I hope to build bridges not walls, but we've obviously seen that really nothing has changed in, in the Civiv main as it comes to moderation. So um, that's a concern. Also I'm calling this before this happens. I'm guaranteed that Libby is either going to block me or no longer have communication with me after this, but to be honest I'm kind of given up so I don't really care anyway. I'm not streaming Survive anymore. I'm not really. I'm in like the fringe of the community occasionally recording stuff to go on YouTube but I'm, I refuse to stream the game anymore. It's a bad game and there's no open communication like she claims there is. But anyway, that was our first day of conversation. It seemed like it was good. It seemed like she was promising stuff. Um, I asked if I could be unbanned from the Survive Discord and the Survive subreddit. She says, I I've unbanned you from the, Surviv, the subreddit a few days ago. That was 100% not true. I was unbanned much later. Make sure you're not using the official reddit to call out or shame volunteers. I called a spineless because every time that I've dealt with him, which I can prove in a second, actually, you know what, I'm going to prove it now. He has 100% just said he was going to do something and then not done something. I can prove it to you here. I talked to him about getting an unbanned or getting an unbanned policy. He asked me to give him a list of a bunch of people that were banned. I said that he, this is, oh, here's some proof that there were 2,700 bans as of June of 2019, which is now 15 months ago. So I'm assuming the bans are probably closer to 4,000, maybe even five, which I'm sure a lot of them are alts and stuff and like actually legitimately need to be banned, but a lot of them were there. A lot of people we banned are just DM spammers who would leave again soon anyway. I don't really think that's possible. 73,000 people were banned, were in the server as of 6 4 2019. That could be an important stat there. It took me 19 leaves to find one ban. A lot of people do leave the server because it's trash. You're one person out of 2.7k but a lot of people want to be banned so this is just basically just i guess this, this segment has turned into just a bunch of poor moderation and a bunch of deflecting you claim 100 first find 20 out of his band whale fish is banned that's nine i found a lot of people people just shred themselves into that like to become martyrs or whatever all for ghosts that's kind of scuffed spamming useless change log images and then leaving immediately that's a great ban message mar useless dev ping spam i can understand that being a concern um sounds like could be a mute or a warn before a complete ban. Let's see who do we got here. Uh, okay, so he sent me a list of me to put everybody who should get unbanned in my opinion. Let's look at this list here. He now changed that it is a not official unban account, but he sent it to me as it was looking pretty official for it and to be shared. So I gave comment perms only. People don't wipe it. Um, I put a whole bunch of people in here. I put uh, me, Mersu, Soapy, Ocean Boy, Nub, Whalefish, Raptor, Nacho King, Bubba, Arsenic, Ditto Blog, Dummy Billy, Met, in this guy so um but we'll see at uh, towards the end why nothing happened from this remind me in mid-july i'm pretty loaded at the moment mid-july that's a month so he was promising unbans in a month which at the time i suspected was just a hey hopefully cryptic will forget about this in a month and i won't have to deal with it and he won't bother me now let's see i think i reminded him sometimes so i was banned on the subreddit yeah i was i can't post and the last post i posted was deleted reddit is such a ter terrible platform
platform Lamau. When was your last post? No, it was one of the devs that did it right. It just doesn't just delete posts, which it could have been auto mod to be fair, but I was banned, I believe. Um, I think I might have gotten unbanned. See, look, did you get a chance to look at the unbanned list? You have a chance to look at unbanned list uh, two days in a row or two days, three days apart. What's new? I can after I eat. Nothing happens. All this mods, main slash mods hate and low key rating by certain people has succeeded in making the mods pretty resistant to the idea of banning. Oh, my mic broke. Sorry about that. My stream lives crashed. Uh, back where we started, all this main slash mod hate and low key rating by certain people has succeeded in making the mods pretty resistant to the idea of unbanning, which to be honest to him, nothing really happened between when this, when was the 6.30, 6.20? Oh, I guess he did get, Justin got his, all his stuff docs, which is pretty poor from him because he really just didn't know how to register an account of like register a company without everything being super public so that was super easy all you had to do is just google his name and serve and his address popped up and his phone number and all that um but now he's using that as an excuse to not unban anybody regardless of just not unbanning the people who actually had something to do with that which i that's 100 valid if you dox somebody or like if you harass somebody in their irl house you don't deserve to be unbanned but there's a lot of people majority of the people i would assume i, I think there was what 10 people on that list out of 10 i'm sure eight of them at least had nothing to do with that at all but now there's an excuse for him to not do it this is uh in fact not an excuse there's an insane amount of hate going around which i have a really good solution to that and it's 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 kind of 4d so you got to think about it seriously how about if you just change the way that you hack and you maybe have some sort of forgiveness on people that you've banned in the past for no legitimate reason then maybe people will stop hating you but that's that's too big brain i gotta dumb it down a little bit unban people people happy there you go 3000 iq <laughs> i look look i even pointed out here that's what you're trying to get at i suppose but that's not how i turned out not how it works really how hard it is to appease the angry crowd of IO gamers. I think we've had fairly, we've had very few demands from the game of Survive. One, don't be trash at developing. Two, fix hackers. Three, unban people that you've banned for no reason. There you go. How to make a pro game. Oh, I guess I've got a fourth one personally, but I know a lot of people don't really have too much of a concern about this. It is very morally wrong to be basically encouraging children, because this is a game designed for children, even though it's technically 13 plus, to gamble in the form of crate. I think it is incredibly scummy and I know all the adults involved in this game who all of them are adults should be very concerned with their morals if they're hundred percent okay with convincing children to spend their parents money in order to randomly spin an item that is most likely gonna be well one it's completely valueless and two it's probably gonna be less it's gonna be less valuable than the the potatoes that they spent rather than just what they can actually get from the you know you know what I mean they, they're gonna players are gonna be at a loss even after spending money in your game would you say that the case that's the case for any of the mods in the server. I was being biased towards that they claimed towards certain clans. Oh, so your clan hub server, like two, three months ago, it was a witch hunt similar to what is going on right now. I'm doubtful. I'm sure it was bad though, knowing how clans are. Really subjective. A was part of a few clans himself. I think he's still in a few clans. Let's check if he's in, if he's in any mutuals with me. No, not any mutuals right now. But I know he's in, a, he was in, a, I think he was in a couple clans at least at that point. So a few people were angry and I got other people to turn against them just because they were indifferent. Oh yeah, clans are so bad. At least you don't ban people because we want to which is actually true i very true uh, regardless of whether or not you guys like me the rules are very set in stone and very rarely do i deviate from those rules i don't just ban people from my want people saying monitors the chat um we run a pretty big server and we have lots of stuff to do which is why you should just exactly ban anybody who may do anything that's completely wrong and said now you just have a dead server which i guess is pr got rid of their busy stuff to do because now there's just nothing to do let's see yeah so this is all the stuff i'm doing right now uh well that's all the time i was doing that I had the SWL going on. I had the state versus state. And then I had, I don't know what this continent's doing. And this was the 1v1, the 1v1 server, or the attorney league I was running. Yeah, this is pretty funny. 100 individuals. My smallest server is 120, 100 people. 20. Okay, I don't know why that's a really weird flex. Just So he doesn't even, doesn't even respond to me anymore. I think he's friends with me. Yeah, he's still friends. So it's not like these messages aren't going through. Anyway, back to Libby. That was a like a six minute tangent. So she said, I thought I unbanned you from the sub. Give me a second. I'll look into it two or three things after a meeting. If that's okay, sure. No rush. I was wondering if you had a chance to look at this. No problem. I was wondering if you had a chance to properly look at this. So this was now, this was, I understand she's busy. She's got a job to do, but I requested one minor thing, which was an unban from a subreddit. 17 days here. I gave her another six days. Finally, she said she's going to work on the, like, of course I, when I bring up something different, she says she's working on it. An anti-swear 605. Keep in mind this anti-swear update came out a couple 
couple days ago. So it took three months for them to come up with an anti-cheat. And look, here's, I'm, I'm gonna show you something. There's this really cool website here called bandwordlist.com. If you click here, all the band, all a whole bunch of bad words are gonna pop up and then you can just immediately input that into your code. They didn't have to do much work at all. In fact, they, I'm sure the code could be 100% found somewhere else and you could just convert it into the code. That would con that would make an anti-cheat. I've done a similar stuff for, for a program I had to do at school. It's not very difficult. I, I did it in Java. I'm not sure what language this one's in, but it's very easy. I did it my first semester of coding. If you, if like a, if the developers say that they can't or that it's difficult or something, they're either useless or they're lazy. But anyway, that's beside the point. Streamer streamer is a huge concern, which is if it's such a big concern that it takes you three months to do, either your work process is really slow or it obviously wasn't that big of a serve. What wasn't that big of a concern. Let's see. Um, these are bad words. We're, we're working on an account name blocking for filtered words three months ago. Said that this is fed. Thank you. We'll see this. I'll make sure this comes down. What's crazy is that this was once again, three months ago and it still hasn't been taken down. So like, wow. <laughs> Like you can't make this stuff up like she's literally walking into my trap of saying that she's not doing what she's promising to do Like I'm not I'm not having to like fish for stuff here. It's literally super easy I was wondering if I could be unbanned from the discord or subreddit It is futile to keep asking you just let me know and I'll stop bothering you once again I think we mentioned it up here back in like uh 416 so it has been now two months since I asked this and now I'm asking for it again I don't get a response. I put the victor in here stuff three days later she gives a response commenting on it hey libby one of your admins just caught just caught word that some children from survivor are going to attempt to raid your pin and then um she finally unbans my reddit here so this was let's see when i first mentioned reddit 506 was the first time i mentioned the reddit specifically so let's see that's over a month and a half any rules violations will be result in immediate rebans which you'll see later that she was really trying to fish for a ban again could have guessed reddit's done just be aware thank you no problem yeah she got harassed on stream which is not my it's not really like my problem but i was willing to try to punish them so that they wouldn't do it again i said uh give me a list she said she'll give it back i said i'll make sure to do it we're gonna we're gonna mute we're gonna skip this i asked for the list of words of of people that got banned or the people who harassed i could do something got nothing back had a whole bunch of people with inappropriate names sent those another one thank you for passing that on right about play test you're claiming you saw the test that's not really important i told you that competitive scene was going completely down the tube by the way look how many how many names I'm reporting that are inappropriate that's a crazy amount of names so let's let's talk about this one here because this one here got me really upset because it is the definition of how to be an abusive moderator I had a post here about complaining about how the moderators were doing a bad job I didn't call out specific moderators I said in general that I didn't agree with a lot of the moderator bans she threatened to ban me because I complained about how the moderators were trained if we look at the rules here for the subreddit let's look at the rules here rules post must be related to surviv.io it was about the survivor Reddit is uh, the Survive Discord, so that is definitely related. Report in-game issues. It wasn't an in-game issue. It wasn't an advertisement. It wasn't information about hacking or cheating, and it was courteous and kind. I specifically mentioned this because a lot of people, in my opinion, were being abused by the uh, moderators. So I specifically mentioned this in order to protect people, not to hurt people. I didn't call anybody out in a personal attack. I didn't say anything hateful or threatening. Of course, it was to the moderator team in general, but I don't think there's any way to call out the moderator team without calling out the moderator team if you know what I mean and for me if if Libby's gonna try to make them all powerful and and you can't call them out I think that's really poor because I think people need accountability but the problem was I said something about the when they're uncivil slash harassing or inappropriate inaccurate slash misleading but I don't remember where our post is um I don't remember what it was to be honest but it's something to do with calling out the staff and it's really dumb I no longer feel we have an open dialogue I think that was trying to get rid of me because I was really confrontational about everything wrong with Serviv and to be completely honest I predicted 1000% what was going to happen to the game before it happened right when congregate took over and look what's happening now so it's not i wish i could be like yeah i'm 3000 iq like i have big brain i'm so insane at predicting stuff i'm a genius but in reality it is it's just basic business they don't know how to run a company their reaction time is so slow they're predicting content in the in in advance they're running this this company like a i don't know how to i don't know like a good comparison kind of like a, a clothing merchandise store i guess where they're able to plan months in advance like now they 
they'd probably be planning for like spring clothing and predicting for that to work, which is great because I don't think like there's not going to be a major difference. Sure, the trends will be slightly different, but in the spring, you're still going to wear a t-shirt. Nobody's going to be wearing like pants as a shirt or something like that. It's just, you're going to know what you're doing. But back when Libby, Libby said that, um, I can, I, I'm not going to show you the screenshot. I think you guys have seen it before where she said that back when she got hired in March or in, in April, I don't remember which one, they had already completed the content throughout the end of August, which is great. But if you have no experience on making content for a specific game and you're making eight months of content before you're able to get opinion from the community, that's bad. I don't know where I was going here. So I just called them out on that. And that was the reason why their company was failing. And also because the game's just bad and they weren't really dealing with a lot of the issues. So I think that was her way of trying to get rid of me here. I feel like we no longer have an open dialogue. Somebody wants to express their discontent and does so with, without swearing slash insulting less ETC, ETC is free to stay, which I don't swear. Everybody knows that, especially on like subreddits. I would never do that. That's really dumb. But, and I don't, I like, I insult people a lot on Discord, but on Reddit, I was very sure to be super PC because I didn't want to give her any reason to ban me, even though she managed to find one somehow. So I looked at all these, the, all these things that got deleted for no reason. Uh, she sp specifies here that the auto mod is bad and that she needs to fix auto mod. We'll see here. Auto deleted. I'm going to check a few settings just today. A month later, I saw there was an issue where auto mod was deleting stuff. She confirmed that auto mod was deleting stuff when it shouldn't have. So it's now been a month and you haven't fixed that. She also said she was going to do a redo of the rules in the subreddit back on 810. So it's been a month. You can't, you tell me, I understand there's like some big projects that can't be done. Like I'm actually getting frustrated right now. I think you guys can understand my frustration. Like you, you're telling me you can't reset rules in a month. I'm not talking fixing hackers. I'm not talking redo the game. I'm talking about changing five rules to like maybe six rules, adding a rule, changing a rule. It's not like, it's not like rocket science. It's just like writing maybe 12 words. It's going to take you over a month to write 12 words. Like that's ridiculous. The inefficiency is what's going to cause congregate to fail. It's, it's the reason why Survive is failing right now. They haven't been able to solve any of their problems. So they're getting more problems before they're able to solve the problems that were there before, which I hate to break it to you, but the more problems you get, the more, the more problems that are that are made and then all of a sudden you're not able to cat keep up with them so that's the path that survives going on right now and i think that could be proved with a lot of inefficiencies on a lot of people let's see let's go down to the next one please lock down right now i'm working with marketing on a more robust way of supporting creators keep in mind that she brought this up i can't show you the specifics of it but she brought this up i'll look at the date for the secret i can't 624 is when we brought up that there's going to be a new creator thing because i had a concern with the creator that was going on right now 624 is when we brought it up because i was i was trying to figure out if there was a way for like creators to be to be done to be uh to be handled better then she says 810 complete lockdown right now i'm working with marketing on a more robust way of cre supporting creators wow that is crazy it has now been a month and nothing has happened at all like i understand things take time to go between marketing and and, and community manager and all other departments but like just put a meeting together and like have a meeting every monday morning and i guarantee you can solve it in four weeks i completely redesigned the social media of an esports team in one day it's <laughs> like <laughs> it's if you want to do it you can do it i don't think i think that's the problem i don't think libby cares enough about these problems to fix them she's just gonna pretend like she's gonna fix them and nothing's gonna happen and like i know this is she's gonna be like this is a personal attack i'm attacking her as an employee i don't care about her as a person well I, I, that sounds mean but like i don't care who libby libby last name i'm not gonna say her last name because that's even though i know it it's kind of not appropriate but like it's it, things aren't happening and things need to happen or the game's gonna die even more i mean we just see i've, I've talked about these numbers before 16 months between now in 16 months player base has dropped 65 percent it dropped about 30 percent in order to get to or it's, it's like 35 percent in order to get from when justin or from last year to when nick and justin sold the game and about another 35 percent since uh congregate has taken over the game which is really concerning because now that kids aren't back in school there's not going to be the way for the game to spread before like it did in, in its usual in its usual way which is word of mouth at school as a as a main way so yeah that's bad and we can tell that it's not before somebody says like oh yeah just game in general are struggling no we know based on games like roblox and other games where there's that are designed for similar audiences that they're in an all-time high so it's it, it's definitely survive not the market or anything like that she says that i'm attacking her by name i've i have quote attacked her a bunch of times i guess by saying that she's doing a bad job if if you think that that's attacking like <laughs> 
I don't know what to say. Like, I guess if, if like, saying that there's an issue is attacking somebody, then, like, a lot of people have attacked me and a lot of people will attack me and there's nothing I can do about it. If I go up to my boss and say, hey, I'm not, I'm not happy with the way that you're doing this, that's not, he can't be like, you know what, Cryptic, you're fired because you're attacking me. Like, that's just not how it works. I wrote this article about how the Civiv needs to be improved by the perspective of a business student. Unfortunately, I wasn't going to post it because I know I'd just get banned immediately when I posted it because it did talk about the concerns about the moderator team uh, management. I, I do take management classes and accounting classes and business classes. So I do know how a business works. I'm, my focus is, is in esports. So I do know the general business of marketing. Uh, instead of like marketing a game, I'm marketing like a team kind of thing. So like I do really know what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys have, a lot, a lot of you guys like to joke about how like I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I definitely do, especially like in a lot of the overview kind of things. I'm not able to tell specifics of like numbers, like how much a game is, how much the game is making and like what percentage of sales are dropping because of xyz bad updates but i am able to tell holistically that this game is performing really poorly because of a lot of different things and none of them are being solved so like i tried to send up i tried to do a post like uh i w wanted to put out a post and yeah just i knew it wasn't going to happen but that's not really important post was deleted it was auto modded another post was auto modded so we brought it up again um <laughs> i want you guys to see this post she says it contributes to the idea that it's okay to act that way but i'll leave it up this was the post I don't I don't see like I love to be funny and stuff but like I don't see how this could be offensive at all like what it's just a dank meme about how survive players rage whenever the servers go down you can't tell me this breaks the rules in any sense anyway I sent a bunch of hackers and bad names and then she says this is super helpful thanks bad names help desk cheaters me i don't know what to say boys like you can't tell me this isn't a super big issue the game development is trash they're putting out a bunch of updates but they're hot garbage and we're saying they're hot garbage and they're just putting out more hot garbage so like a company has to adapt in order to survive if it doesn't adapt regardless of what the company is it is going to die and i we see now that survive is dying in both player base and in terms of like people who want to pay attention I mean, if you look, you can look at it in terms of streamers, because I think streamers are a good representation of the popularity of a game. Survive last year had double the amount of average viewers as it does now. The diehard fan base, the people that watch streamers, the streamers are just not into it anymore. It's unfortunate. I don't stream it anymore. James is back. Maybe he'll prop it up, but even then, he's not getting the numbers he was before. Is it because is it because James is now bad all of a sudden? No, James is the same. James still makes great content, just nobody cares about it anymore. Nobody cares about Survive anymore. It's a dead game. It's a dying game. I wish I could say it's a dead game. It's not. It's dying. It'll get worse before it gets better, if it even gets better. All of a sudden, it'll go down to the population of like, I don't know, a couple hundred players, and the lobbies will fill up to seven like they do in West already. All right, story two. We are going to be talking about the quote free GP big brain idea. It's probably not going to work. With, oh, yes, there we go. Let's look at the big poggers ways you can get money. Take a quick questionnaire. If you are between 18 and 65 are, sp are Hispanic and have a cat owner complete the questionnaire, you will receive your free GP within five minutes. This is a poggers deal, so I'm going to actually try this. Let's try this live on stream. Publishers revenue a universe. Birth date, what did this say the age was? 18 and 65. So my birthday is 10 August. This is not actually my real birthday, by the way. And 84. 10 August 24, so, or 84. So let's think about that for a second. This is probably going to be a very long survey, I'm guessing. But I'm going to do a recording crash again. We're back, though. Okay, so we're going to talk. take this survey. It's going to be real quick, but I'm going to fast forward it, I think. <laughs> Okay, and now let's see, I go back. I don't get any GP. Wow, do you look at that? So I just wasted, what was that, two minutes of my time, which isn't that long, but it's still wasting my time. So let's just go on to the next thing. Um, develop IT strategy. This is very specific. 18 and 64 perform overseas IT strategy at a company with 25 to 499 employees. There's gonna be no survive player that does this. One, because most of the players aren't under 18. And two, if you're really managing the IT strategy at a company between 225 and 499 employees, you wouldn't be playing Survive because Survive's trash. Here, spend money. Lupus. Here, spend money. Ooh, look, spend money. Are you the CFO of a company between 20, 250 million and 3 billion in revenue in the energy, healthcare, or life sciences industry? Uh, hello? Do you realize who you're talking to now? If you're the manager of a supermarket, hotel, restaurant, or convenience store, that's not happening. Anyway, let, we'll, we'll not go through specifics. Money, 
So I just showed you that these don't work. Okay, these here build a city hall to level 17. I assume this takes months, like not under, not exaggerating months to finish this. And you probably have to pay money in order to actually get decent money. Rage Shadow Legends, reach level 40. Let's Google how long it takes to get to level 40 in Rage Shadow Legends. Okay, so it says here this dude grinded regularly and it took him nine days. And I think by regularly he means for, so nine days for, let's see how much that is worth. Oh, that's good money. That's $40. Okay. That's, that's not a bad deal. So you have to work what? Probably like 90 hours for $40. That's a good deal. That's what I was making more on. I was making more on Twitch, but still a good idea. Nielsen questionnaire. If you're a female over 18, just had a baby and bought a breast pump. So like literally nobody. Let's get to the juicy stuff. Let us promote gambling. Reach level 200 by gambling money. Keep in mind that this is 18 and I think, um, I think actually this might be a lawsuit coming. Okay, it wasn't illegal, I don't think, to advertise to minors, but it is very morally questionable. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so all these are um, questionnaires that most likely you won't be able to actually apply for one because you won't be in that specific. Very weird 16 and 20, 72 and Hispanic, which will probably say that you're not good enough or something like that. Or you have to buy something like wine, which is illegal for under 20 wants to buy. Or you can enter a sweepstakes that will, is probably just marketing, which is probably borderline legal scam. This is definitely legal, illegal or like definitely um, illegal gambling because people are under 18. Same here, casinos. Um, buy stuff, illegal, <laughs> search for a job. One of them was here. I don't know if it's still here. Yeah, look, shipped. You need to apply for a job and you get 282 GP, which is the equivalent of like a couple cents. And you have to apply for a job and you get like 20 cents. Just big brain here. Look, I'll put in your social security number. Oh, did I see that? Uh, social security disability, unfortunate. Betty Crocker. I like Betty Crocker. You have to sign up for their savings. Oh, that's actually not a bad deal. You get like 12 cents worth of gambling. Yeah, all I'm saying is that the only ones that really work, if you're really desperate, you go here, you go to no credit card, I think. Clicks and videos. These are the ones that actually work and they'll give nine GP free and they work probably, I'd say 33% of the time because I tried six yesterday and I got uh, 18 GP from it. I tried it just to um, for this video kind of thing. Earn bonus free GP. Wow. That is crazy. Anyway, so yeah, very morally questionable. Um, I, I, I think you guys can see this for yourself. It's just really bad. And our final story today has to do with, I don't remember his name, Pickle Butt Dobby. This is the one. First annual Pickle Butt. It was twice. Okay. Um, let's see. Look at the clips. Some of the clips. There might be some good clips in here. SV likes to cheat a lot. I don't know how this I tournament worked. Plays. We got... <laughs> okay, so literally the team that got number one cheated. Am I blind? Am I blind? Oh, God. I think Where they were talking about all the feeding. There was a bunch of feeding in this one. Where's Uber? West fed a lot. Hold on, I'm trying to find Uber. See how much you got. Uh, Uber, where are you? I got oh, here. One, 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 one. Wait, one? <laughs> no, you had one, yeah. You can see all the feeding, <laughs> all the people one. that had zero kills. I'm gonna. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's okay. They're 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 tr they're trying to ruin the tournament. That's cool. Yeah. So the problem with this tournament. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Want to check the scores? The problem with a tournament of this style, all the videos are, that are coming out soon, you guys got a sneak peek. You really have to make it in a way that makes it as difficult as possible to snipe. If you look at, if I looked at my Discord, like any time while the tournament is going on, I was constantly getting pinged in random servers saying like, join the server, join, try to snipe this game, X, Y, Z, whatever. So like, as much as I would like to say this was a good tournament, it was it was incredibly flawed in pretty much every way possible. Whenever you have a, a, a tournament where it's relied on 
players not being able to beat one another and just going for kills, which I assume is, which I, I think that's what it was. I'm not sure. I I really didn't follow the tournament at all because I knew it was going to be a disaster from the beginning. I should have actually offered to help. That would have been kind of me to do, but I didn't. But the point is that this server, this this tournament was run by a very inexperienced person who did nothing to try to educate himself on how to run a tournament or how to properly deal with people who were going to do whatever they could in order to make sure the tournament was not fair. Especially when there's 250 bucks on the line, people are willing to do a lot to get that money. It was what, like eight hours of content in general and in total, I don't know how much time you actually, like each specific team had to be there to play for it. But 250 bucks and worth of prizes for eight hours is a really good deal, especially for Civiv where like my tournaments are a pretty well-paying tournament and it's 50 bucks over like five or six weeks. I think if you weren't a considered a quote pro player, you had to play like 15 or so games and, or, and if, if you win and if you and you would have to have played 15 games you'd have to win all but two of them at least at most in order to get money so it's kind of one of those things that like it's a lot of money you know this community is known frequently for cheating like you have to have some sort of way to prevent cheating and in the end we saw that cheating happened and it was really bad and and stuff like that i i feel bad for the dude and i feel bad for the two other people that were with him i don't know what they had to do in order to get their name on the tournament but it's it's yeah i don't know it's whatever anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video it's what it's probably like 30 minutes long i think i recorded for 45 minutes or so so it's gonna be like 30 minutes long i hope this comes out on time because i don't know because i spent i spent a lot of time doing it and i didn't do a saturday video because i'm not gonna do best of twitch anymore i think besides monthly and even that it'll be 50 viewers just because there's nothing exciting going on in twitch anymore and those videos were a lot of work and they weren't performing super well so anyway i will see you guys on tuesday with another video probably a 1v1 or a war i'm not sure or maybe a custom video i don't know probably gonna go down to four videos a week survival alert plus three war videos anyway i'm probably gonna go down to five videos a week i'm probably gonna do one survival alert one one v one one customs compilation one war and then a reaction video most likely so i will see you guys tuesday with whatever